The Kentucky Parole Board will decide next week whether to let the man convicted of a high school shooting 25 years ago out on parole. Michael Carneal, who is serving a life sentence for killing three people at the Heath High School shooting in Paducah in 1997, testified at his parole hearing this morning. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has more from the hearing. During today's hearing, Carneal told the panel that he was hearing voices in his head at the time of the shooting and that he still hears them, adding there's no excuse for his actions. You know, when you're 14, anything you do with a gun is not good. I wouldn't think so. And I should have known that it was going to lead to something terrible. Carneal is serving a life sentence for murder, attempted murder, and burglary for killing three people and injuring five others at Heath High School in December 1997. Carneal told the panel he doesn't know if he deserves parole, but claims he can still do good in the community. I know it's not going to change anything, it's not going to make anything better, but I want them to know that I am sorry for what I did. But the family of Nicole Hadley, one of the three victims, told the panel that Carneal should stay in prison. He had enough weapons and ammunition to hurt and kill several more. I believe the murderer should never be let out of prison and should serve the remainder of his life sentence. Survivor Missy okay. Jenkins Smith questioned what would happen if Carneal is let out but can't handle life outside prison. What if these problems affect him so much emotionally that he chooses not to take his medication? What if it affects him emotionally enough that his meds aren't helping anymore? There are too many what ifs. Not all the survivors say Carneal needs to remain in prison. Holland Holmes says he's still deeply affected by the shooting, but there are some circumstances where he could agree with Carneal getting a second chance. If the mental health experts think he can be successful on the outside, he should get that chance. This is a difficult position for me to take. The parole board is expected to reconvene Monday where it could make a recommendation on Carneal's future. In Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.